Hey guys, Moidog here, and today I've got a quick guide on how to win your armor fights and kill every single tank in the game with one or two shots. If you want to learn the basics of tanks, including crew setups and more general strategy, I'd highly recommend watching my complete tank guide, which I'll link in the corner here. But this is going to strictly be a quick overview on how to kill tanks as fast as possible. But before we dive into that, I do want to remind everyone that I do stream a lot of squad on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Moidog. I squad lead, run via and play practically every kit in the game. So if you want to chill with the community, ask some questions, or just chat, come hang out with us. Squad recently revamped the armor model, rewarding those players who can land much more precise shots on vehicles. With these changes, the ammo racks become even more important, and aiming for weak spots in vehicles that can pin through into that ammo rack is key to winning armor fights quickly. Each tank can be two-shot with standard armor-piercing sable rounds, which you'll soon see, but depending on the angle and the tank itself, every tank can also be one-shot with ATGMs, making vehicles like Bradley's and Spandrels, as well as Sneaky Toe fobs even more important than before. I also want to say that everything here has been tested on a live server, not an offline server, as currently there is still a bug where damage is not calculated correctly on offline training ranges. So with that being said, let's get started. Starting with the Abrams, the weakest part of the tank is a tiny rectangular space between the driver's hatch and the barrel, and by hitting here, you will shoot straight through the turret ring, and your rounds will actually pin the entire tank and even take out the engine. This one shot will do 50% damage to the tank, and a second shot in the exact same spot will finish it off. In order to one-shot the Abrams, you will need some form of ATGM and aim for its ammo rack, which is in the middle left side of the tank itself. If the tank is facing to your left, aim just above the fourth road wheel in the exact center of the tank and impact right above the treads and below the hull. This will pin through the weaker side armor and begin the cookoff. All ATGMs work, so whether you have a Cornet, a T-72's Reflex, or you're in a BMP-1 with a Malyutka, aim for the right spot and enjoy the fireworks. For the T-72, we actually have two variants, the T-72B3, which is the MBT for Russia, as well as MEA's T-72S. And although these are basically the same, there are a couple differences to keep in mind. Both T-72s have their ammo in the center right side of the tank, meaning that if you're facing the tank, you'll want to aim left. Two AP Sable rounds in the front left of the T-72's armor will pin through it and begin the cookoff. If you're facing the T-72S, however, on MEA, I found this to be an unreliable area to hit for whatever reason. And although you may be able to pin through here, I got a lot of deflections. So I actually had a lot more success pinning straight through the driver's hatch, the rectangular window below the barrel. Two shots here will also pin into the ammo and begin to cook the tank off. Unlike the Abrams, the T-72 can't reliably be one-shot from the side, and during testing, the closest I got to a one-shot was about 5% left on the ammo rack. To one-shot T-72s of either variant, you'll need to angle an ATGM downwards through the turret and into the ammo storage. This does have a chance to do so much damage that the ammo rack doesn't even cook off, and instead the vehicle is insta-killed. Additionally, if you don't have an ATGM, but you do see that the tank is at an angle, two Sable rounds in the exact same spot will pin the ammo and cause the tank to cook off. For the T-62, this is the only tank that actually has two separate ammo storage locations, one in the front and one in the back near the engine. This, paired with its relatively weaker armor, makes it much easier to be killed. Like the T-72, if you aim at the bottom left of the front armor twice, you will pin through to the ammo and cause the tank to cook off. This is also the case for the side armor, as both the front and rear storages can be two shot through the vehicle's tracks. Uh. 
for the rear storage area, do make sure you aim at the body of the tank right before the turret ends. Otherwise, you'll miss the ammo and instead hit the engine. This weaker side armor is also weak to ATGM, so if the tank is facing right, one shot with a tow will cause it to cook off immediately. The British Challenger is much harder to pin from the front, and firing into the turret ring, driver's hatch, or even the front plate will either cause deflections or just do standard hull damage. Instead, you want to aim at this part of the tank right here, the welding between the top and bottom plates of armor. Hitting this straight on will allow an AP round to pin through the body into the ammo rack at the rear of the tank. Two shots and you'll cook the ammo off. The Chally can also be one shot on the sides with ATGMs just like the Abrams, and this is even possible with the Malyutka. When the tank is facing right, aim just below this vertical line into the skirt of the tank to pin into the ammo. Although toes, cornets, and Malyutkas work, the best I could do with a reflex was once again get it to about 5% health on the ammo rack. So if you are in a T72, you can simply fire two rounds into the same spot to cause it to cook off as well. For Leopards, their ammo is also stored in the front a bit like the T-62. However, it's to the lower left of the driver. So when facing this tank, aim bottom right of the hole with two rounds of AP Sabo and it will begin to cook off. This is also possible from the side as well, no matter if the tank has caged armor or not. For one shots, you'll need to aim into the weaker side armor at the front of the tank when it's facing left, but this will not work if that tank does have caged armor. This cage does protect against ATGMs and will leave the ammo rack with about 30% health left. Instead, you'll need to angle the missile downwards and pin through the weaker top plate to one shot caged leopards. And with that, now you can one shot and two shot every single tank in the game. I'm pretty sure we covered every way that these quick kills are possible, but if I missed any, please do leave them in the comments below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more, but until next time, peace.